Installation of solid core siding requires the same basic tools as conventional siding. These additional tools will make your installation even easier. They are a breakaway utility knife and a heavy duty cordless circular trim saw. There are also a few special accessories that are needed to simplify the installation process. First, it is necessary to use crane performance siding underlayment vinyl or steel starter strips, which are specifically designed for solid core siding. You'll need to use at least a two and one half inch long roofing nail or equivalent when installing solid core siding. In some cases, local codes may have additional fastening requirements. Solid core corner post and inside corner post are recommended for corner installation. You will need one and one eighth inch J channel and universal J channel for applications around windows, doors, and some top course applications. Depending on your installation, you may want to use the following accessories, including top course panel, trim board and back plate, transition lineals, and Architectural Essentials window lineals and corner post systems. Here are a few general tips before we get started. Solid core siding panels will expand and contract just as vinyl siding does, so you need to use the same good installation procedures to allow for this. Make sure you do not nail tight. Nail in the center of the slots and always leave one quarter inch space in channels to allow for material expansion and contraction. It's critical to set a straight course for vinyl siding and with solid core siding it is just as important to get off to a good start. Measure carefully. Remember the crane performance siding underlayment starter strip is specially designed to work with solid core siding. Solid core siding panels will easily slide into solid core corner posts. As with vinyl siding corner posts, position a nail at the top of the upper slot on both sides of the post. The corner post hangs from these nails. Place the other nails in the center of the slots at 10 to 12 inch intervals. Crane manufactures an inside corner post with a 1 and 1 8 inch pocket designed specifically for solid core siding. Use the same nailing techniques used on the outside corner post when installing inside corner post. Foam is recessed 5 8 of an inch on both sides of a solid core siding panel and fusion begins 2 inches back from the foam's edge. The correct way to seam two solid core siding panels is to slip the vinyl edge of the rear portion of the seam between the unfused foam and the vinyl on the adjoining panel. Then slide the panels together until proper foam to foam contact is achieved. Foam to foam contact is critical to ensure proper long term weathering and optimal insulation value. When seaming panels between windows or in tight areas, engage both panels into the locks then pull the panel ends away from the wall far enough to engage the seam. You will find that solid core siding goes up the wall much quicker than conventional siding. After a few jobs, you should see significant time savings. As when installing traditional vinyl siding, you will have to work around objects such as spigots and other obstacles. If the obstacle has been J-blocked, simply measure the dimensions and cut the proper clearance out of the siding panel. If the obstacle is not J-blocked, you will want to cut panels to seam around it. Measure carefully, then cut the first panel one inch beyond the obstacle. Slightly trim the second panel to the contour of the obstacle. Then simply slide the panels together and nail them up. Another method, useful when dealing with J-blocks or vents, is to take the panel, turn it over, position it, and press it into the object to leave an impression in the foam. Then you can cut around the impression for a perfect fit. Now we're going to take a look at how to install solid core siding around windows. 
It is always important that you properly flash around windows before you install siding. There are several materials you can use for flashing. Measure the window opening as you would with conventional vinyl siding. Then use 1 and 1 8 inch J channel to trim around the entire window. Nail approximately every 8 to 10 inches. Make sure that you create water diversion tabs on the J channel at the top of the window. Then measure and cut the panel to fit under the window. Use a snap lock tool to crimp the cut panel. Depending on where the cut falls on the panel, you may need to install a piece of universal J channel inside the 1 and 1 8 inch J channel below the window. Now you can install your panel. The recommended installation for finishing a sidewall is to use back plate and finish board. This will provide a secure and attractive installation. First, install back plate at the top of the wall. Using the nail slot punch, punch holes every 16 inches along the edge of the cut panel. Next, install the last course of siding, nailing through the center of the slot holes. Finally, snap the trim board into the back plate. You can also use crown mold for your top course using this exact same installation procedure. When installing solid core siding in tight areas, nail up J-channel or corner post completely on one side and then start the J-channel with one nail on the opposite side. As panels are inserted and installed, continue to work up the wall nailing loose J-channel as you go. If you are installing in tight areas around windows, you may want to consider these options. You can nail J-channel or corner post on both sides and slide panels down from the top. Or nail J-channel or corner post up on both sides, then slide panels up from the bottom before installing the panel under the window. Installation in the rake or gable area is easy with crane solid core siding. When installing here, simply mark the proper angle on the panel, then make your cut. The cut edge of the panel should be secured by crimping with the snap lock tool.